when they uh, put our people on the reservation, they allotted them land, but nothing to generate funding, huh? So my grandpa was fortunate enough to work on a ranch off the res to understand the cattle business. So then when he come back on the res, he bought cows. And that's how they made their living, is just ranching. I grew up with the cattle and the horses. My whole family, even my children and grandchildren, has grown up with the horses. So they're really a, a big importance in our lives. My family, we got close to 1,600 acres of our own. Then we lease about 9,000 acres from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, uh, Blackfeet BIA, that we uh, pasture cattle on. We got a uh, business that where we take trail rides. Uh, we go up along the mountain front a half a day, a full day. We also do camp outs if they want to camp. We take and uh, show them some of the historic points like teepee rings, uh, where they had battles with different tribes, things like that. Back in the late 40s, uh, mid 50s, uh, Heart Butte was the center of the reservation. That's, and then when they made Glacier Park a park, they moved it into Browning and then they set up everything. So now that's the center of the reservation now. So most of your historic sites, like there's buffalo jumps down here that nobody sees. That was where they used to run the buffalo off a cliff before they uh, endured the horses. So they would make a pile of rocks and they'd hide behind that and and they would have this one guy who would take a wolf pelt and, and he'd cover himself and he'd go amongst the buffalo and the lead cow would usually try to hook him huh? so he'd just coax that lead cow and then when he got close to the cliff he'd get up well then all the, the people that were behind these rocks would take and they'd use these hides and they'd scare those buffalo and they'd stampede them off the cliff. And so that's how they used to hunt them long ago. Well, then they got the horses where the horses, they could go out there wherever they're at and run alongside of them and then shoot them with arrows. I said, you take the cattle, kind of replaces the buffalo. So we got no more buffalo to chase, but now we got cattle. So we, we still end up chasing, chasing the cattle, bringing them in and, and all that stuff. So a horse to all native people is a, really a sacred animal. So in, in the Blackfeet way, our dogs and our horses are the most honored in, in our traditional ways. And then plus one of our sacred mountains up here besides Chief Mountain, Heart Butte Mountain, which the community is named after, we have that right in our backyard. So we're, we're pretty uh, fortunate, I guess you'd say. Being traditionalist in, in the ceremonial ways goes with the horses, goes with the ranching, because as a rancher, I got to make sure that I'm taking care of Mother Earth, huh? So you can't just go out there and misuse it and then expect it to give, come back. 
It teaches you respect. You got to respect the land. You got to respect your animals. So you got to make it so everything works. So we always say the circle, the circle of life. That's what that means. You use that whole circle so that way it will be here again tomorrow. You're not destroying it. The Blackfeet Reservation was established in 1855 and with more than 17,000 members, is one of the largest tribes in the United States.